Three hours and 12 minutes. Not awful for a mini Metroidvania. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the Ramsey. I still do not know why it is called the Ramsey, but it is. I'm hoping it will be explained. And if it never is explained, it may just become one of those big mysteries of life. Today, we are going to a brand new island. How long we will be at this island, whether it will send us elsewhere straight away, I don't know. Trusting in Dr. Castor, I arrived at Thunder Island. I don't like this. We can't just ignore all of the evidence of kidnapping so far, can we? He was wearing a white lab coat, just like multiple witnesses said, and he used a botnet. And why would he have a secret lab in the middle of nowhere if his research wasn't something dodgy? That's a sharp mind you have. Well, let's see. Let's see indeed. Right, how do I play again? It's been a couple of days, unfortunately, since I was last able to play this because, you know, work gets in the way. This is not my day job. Oh, hello. Jerry, there really is no place you can't go. Of course. <laughs> it's perfect weather for business. <laughs> Here. Have you caught a cold? It's a great opportunity. Thunder Island never stops raining. It's always raincoat season. It wasn't this rainy a few years ago, but the change in climate seems to have brought a typhoon here. I'll have no customers if all the houses get flooded, so I need to see sell all I can before the... <laughs> I can't do a sneeze voice act. I can't voice act at all, but, you know, you should really focus on getting some rest. I'm worried about you. Uh, no. Ah! Oh. <gasps> Underwater! Oh! Ah, uh, shockingly enough. Fire. <laughs> so underwater, um, our basic guns just produce pathetic little bubbles. Fortunately, the water version um, works fine. Oh, God, we've got a breath bar and I hadn't realized. Oh, and bouncy mushrooms. And collapsing bridges. The thing that's really interesting to me uh, about this is that back during the second, I think it was, COVID lockdown, um, I did, I spent a lot of time, pro probably an unhealthy amount of time because that's, that's how I work, um, learning a bit of unity learning how to, to, to do some basic things in Unity, because I've got no background whatsoever in programming. Um, so I was learning a little bit of, uh, of C Sharp uh, and, and just how to do basic things. And then I discovered the Corgi engine uh, by More Mountains, which is a framework essentially for creating exactly this kind of game. And the thing that entertains me the most is that just playing this game, I can see how... I could use the Corgi engine to do basically everything this game is doing. Um, that is not me saying that they have used that for this. Um, it's just that it, it, it quite amuses me because it's like, well, I, I kind of know how to do that. You know, I know how to do this. It's it's all kind of toggleable options. Um, I don't know whether the breath bars something that's in Corgi engine by default. But yeah, uh, I, I find that, that interesting. I don't know whether I'm going the right way here. Oh, I am. Because now I can get through there. I can also go up here. Ah. Ah. Interesting. Oh, we're, we're coming down from above. Task? Um, We've actually got enough bolt nuts to, to use all of these things. Um, But I don't feel that they are super... Oops. But they are super duper important. So I'm not going to use them just yet. Nope. Uh, what did that do? Ah, turn that off up there. Now, we wanted to... No, not that. That. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, bouncy mushroom, block coming from that side. Get out of it. I knew that was going to happen. And that. 
Oh, that's Trixie. That's the wrong... That's not... Mm. Oh, where have I put? Yes. See, this doesn't actually... travel very far. It travels far enough, but that's that's quite tight. That was also quite tight. Keep in mind this this is on the uh as I discovered, this is on the easy difficulty. <laughs> Fortunately I don't got save points to restore our health. I'd argue that maybe these little water bubble things are a little bit too frequent. But again, easy difficulty, so. Uh. Huh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh, unless the water gun does the same thing. That ah ha ha ha. They had thought about it. They haven't got us into a terrible soft lock position. <laughs> Oops, that's the wrong. I was going to say, how am I getting through there otherwise? But no, it has been thought about. Uh. Nice jumping, Demogen! There we go. Yeah, there's some vaguely precision platform. Well, precision platform is the, is the wrong word. It, it's nice to see that the, uh, the, the gun changes its general purpose underwater, though. That's cool. Hello! Hey, kid. You know what's the most useless tool on Thunder Island? An umbrella. But don't you need an umbrella to avoid the rain? But if you try using an umbrella, weather like this... Using an umbrella in weather like this, you'll just get blown off a cliff. Wait, that sounds like it could be useful. If you say so, kid. And take one if you like. No one will buy any umbrellas from me, anyway. Received item? Umbrella! Aha! Uh -huh. If you hold it when the wind is blowing, you can fly into the sky. A glide ability! Don't mind if I do. But it's only a glide ability in certain situations. Uh... Oh, we're not going up there. The tree of life needs a lot of water to grow. I've been here for a month, watching it drink up water. For a month? Do you ever go home? <laughs> you see, my door is a hole in that tree. But the water won't go down. Maybe the tree isn't thirsty. Then you're homeless. When it rains this much, even the trees can't drink up all the water. Ugh. And there's even a tornado. Fish are flying. Stay positive, friend. It's a unique house that can be repaired easily just by adding water. These tornadoes and rain clouds are nature's will. Think too much about it and your head will hurt. But is sitting around waiting really the answer? Ramsey! Wait, Ramsey's the name of the... Is Ramsey the name of the, the, the squirrel? Um, <laughs> have I just not noticed this? 
Can you hear me? The weather there must be terrible. Must be terrible. It is. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> it's been me thinking, why is it called the Ramsey? It's like, because it's the character's name, you complete dipshit. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, oh, God. I'm getting old. Dr. Caster, the tree of life has been completely flooded and a tornado is blocking the way. I knew it. And the island has always been rainy, but now it's a whole other level. Is there any way to calm the weather? If we can target the eye of the storm with the climate changer, we'll be able to calm it. There must be somewhere on the island that is clear with no wind. Call me on the radio if you find it. There is a location tracking device on the radio, so the coordinates will be delivered automatically. Hang on. He was tracking your location. Didn't Dr. Castor enter the coordinates that he used that lightning guidance device on Inset Island? You have a good memory. I thought the same thing as well. So what I did was... Wait, what? You put a tracking device on me? I told you I'd help you, and I knew the weather would cause you issues. And I know what will happen if we carry on like this. Ramsey throws the radio into the tornado. There must be another entrance. Maybe I can find a way to use that tornado to my advantage. Okay, so I'm an idiot, as, as, as long established. Um... The question then is, why is the game called The Ramsey? Um, whee! Oh, that, that's taken us up to a new area. Totally uh, expected. Use what you know, the characteristics of tornadoes, to find a new path. And jumping into it. So we've still got a massive inventory with only two items. Uh huh. That's not the right one. That's not the help, is it? Oh, and all that. Uh... Oh, this this is going to be awkward. Range on it that's the awkward bits. Uh, oh, th this can't be the way that we're supposed to do this because otherwise, this is incredibly particular. Oh no, this needs to go here because we're going to drop the block onto it, aren't we? That, it doesn't go far enough from there. Uh, and you've got to hit it at the right... And then you've got to be able to... You, you don't climb fast enough. No. Damn it. No, you, you, this is really kind of oddly and somewhat annoyingly tricky. There we go. Uh, 
Yeah, that was maybe a little bit too faffy for its own good, I'd argue. I'm almost out of health, aren't I? Oh, I needed you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to hit. <laughs> nice. Oh, what? Damn it. Uh. Now, do I have to do this again? No, thank Christ for that. Man, the hitboxes are, uh... It's because we, we, we lack a lot of maneuverability underwater, so... Uh, what? There we go. Yeah, I knew there was going to be one coming up. Uh -huh. What is that through there? Well done, Demonshurn. Is that a spider cocoon thing? Don't know. Boink, boink. Oh, that. Yes. Boink, boink. Winning. Uh, back in the water. Oh no, you are. Right. It's quite button mashy in order to uh. To get climbing. Uh, we do not want to go back over there. <laughs> so, was Dr. Caster telling the truth? Was there really a place on the island where it wasn't raining? Yes. This is a boss fight. That's a B. Received item, radio? This is the radio I threw away earlier. How did it get here? Ah, as much as I hate to, I guess I have no choice but to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Ow, sneezing hurts. Um, Doctor, I'm in the eye of the storm. Ah, finally response. See, I was right, wasn't I? To use the climate change over a wide area, I need accurate coordinates. Stand still. Bzzz. There's a giant beehive here. A beehive? I suppose that makes sense. There's nowhere else on the island that can make a home. How long will this take? Just a minute. Hang in there. Oh, gold. Oh, this is not a boss spot. Well, it's a... Uh, this is an avoid thing. Meow. Whoop. I assume on the harder difficulty, this uh, 
This has more patterns. And I'm not very good at the game, so... I assume there's going to be an actual bee to fight after this. Maybe. Oops. I assume these spawn in at... Yeah, and target the, the side that we're on. Whoa, what's that light? The bees were so surprised they all flew away. Behold, my climate changer. I can't manage the whole planet yet, but the small area is perfect. The tornado around the tree of life should have disappeared. Hurry up before the rain clouds reform. Okay. Boink. Right. Status. The rain clouds and tornado were removed with the climate change. Now go and explore the tree of life. Okay, I will. Huh. That's to get back up. Hold on, there is a bolt nut dungeon. Well, that didn't work, did it? Or that. Oh, interesting. Those don't actually deal damage. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't think I'd actually made it up there then. But I did. Bolt not get. Okay. Oh, this is the top of here. I need to hurry and shut up shop so I can go vacation on Teapot Island. I think it's too late for that. It's far too hot there now. No way! Oh. Okay. So we go this way? My friend! Where have you been? Look! The tree of life is so happy after drinking up all the water. Ah, that's a relief. Now hurry home and get some rest. <laughs> Thanks. In vigor. Hello again. Welcome to my home, sweet home. It's so clean. No clothes, no furniture, no food, nothing at all. Is this really your house? Ah, was that a joke? Of course it is. Shall we open the door? Ah, wait. I don't have my key. I really have nothing at all. <laughs> is there anything you do have? The key must have fallen into the lake. This is an inconvenience. The one nearby? Can't we just dive in and find it? Ha <laughs> you're fearless, huh? It's a lot deeper than you think. Besides, I can't swim. If you kindly do it for me, I'll give you something useful in return. That is quite convincing. Where was the last place you had it? I was stood in the same place for a month, remember? I'm sure it must be around there. Like I said, it's surprisingly deep. You better build this invention first. I'm counting on you. Gill mask. Ahahaha. Ahahaha. No prizes for guessing what this does. Breathe underwater without oxygen. I'm going to build this straight away because I can. Ching, 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 ching. But also, there's a bolt nut door here. Oops. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, that's not a bolt nut door. I was going to say, how is this a challenge? <laughs> um, That's a way out. Okay, so we need to go. Uh... Oops. Nice, Dammer. the bird I mean this is not helping us get down in the lake is it but oh 
Well, that's not helping. Ugh. The va the burst pattern on this is kind of annoying. No. Up. Up. Boing. Nice. Well done, Demogen. <laughs> you have missed the obvious. Wait, uh, there we go. I didn't realize this was going to be so high. I feel like... Out of it. Uh... That's not the one, is it? Ah. Can I? Oh, I probably have to do it this way. I thought I might have to push a block down onto that, but... Very tight. Fail. There. Uh-huh. 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 Sounds. <laughs> Damn it. Infinite breath. Ching, 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 ching. Huh. I spy your bolt nuts. Oh. Receive. I do like that it uh, it returns you. All right, this is going to be a. I did not get as much height off that as I was expecting to. Damageon is. Is bad. Uh, right. And jump. And bounce. Saved item, red wooden key. Can be used in red keyholes. Shocking. <laughs> Can't get up there though, can we? Oh, this is an interesting and oddly confusing dungeon. Uh, well, there's a red keyhole. Boom. Uh, 
Oh, those those aren't breaky platforms, so uh, we can go through here. It's another bolt nut door. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Get out of it. Aha! That's super useful. Oh, that was close. Nice. So we've now got... How do... Tells us somewhere. It's there. Five. We've got five. So there's probably one more in the game. Yeah. Because there's three more inventions. Boing. Ah. That was not how to do that, was it? At all. Come on. That's what we wanted to do. Oops. Aha! And green wooden key. Can be used in green keyholes. Surprising nobody. Uh Right, now we can get through here. That's just high enough to get up there. Now we can get through there. Uh... Ah, so the enemy is there so that we can use the thing on it. And then it freezes the plunger at the same time. We can't get in there yet. Is there going to be a wall climb? Uh -huh. What's this field mouse doing? You're ruining my web. I'm going to have to eat you for dinner. Field mouse, I'm a squirrel. And squirrels are much stronger than spiders. I need to find something else for dinner. Tarantula! Uh, how am I even getting up here? Oh, shoot! Um, I've got... Oh, I can shoot his blocks. Get up there. Uh, I don't like, I, I, I have to say, the one thing that I really dislike. 
is the... Huh. After all that... I mean, he's only got three health, so... But I've only got one, so this is going to be short. Um, I don't like the way the freeze thing works. I think it's unnecessarily faffy. Just, just catching something in this. Yeah, it's it's just so imprecise. It wouldn't be so bad if I could like fire it in a more precise way. Oh, that missed. Well, you can shoot it that way. No. It's really hard to avoid these fireballs. Sod off. That was an absolutely fine boss fight. Just getting up to it was really annoying. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Which I assume we're working our way around to. Right. Yes, the... Oh. What's all of this fog? I can hardly see. Based on the coordinates, you probably met Wheeler by now, right? No? I can't see anything because of the fog. Can you use the climate changer again? Changing normal climates negatively affects the whole environment. Fog is normal in a place like that. This is an emergency. Can't you do it just once? The environment's already damaged anyway. An emergency? Fine, just this once, but don't blame me for the consequences. Get the coordinates from the radio. All right, there you go. Three, two, one. So, Ramsey, you trust me now, don't you? Huh? Where's that question coming from? 
Game over. You died. <laughs> ah, you're awake. You're harder than I expected for a squirrel. The sudden change just made the atmosphere unstable. You're lucky it was only one lightning strike. The lightning struck right next to me. I was almost fried. I'm glad to be rid of the fog, but I still don't see any trace of Dr. Wheeler. But what is that mountain to the north? It looks even higher than the Tree of Life. A pillar of fire is shooting the sky from its peak as well. If it's to the north, then that means Sherwood Island. There can't be such a high mountain there. Maybe the blizzard there is hiding something. I remember hearing something about a mountain there. That's right, Lunar Mountain. Adventurers are always trying to find it in the Wish Gem. Huh? Will that line in the strike for your brains? There's no, no way. No way Lunar Mountain is real. Well, I'm going to go there and find out. Maybe that's where Dr. Wheeler is. A fairy tale mountain suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Uh huh. That was the only possible place left for Dr. Wheeler to be. So Dr. Wheeler wasn't kidnapped by Dr. Castor after all and just left to find somewhere really high? Well, it's still not clear if he went of his own will or was kidnapped by someone else. But Dr. Castor wasn't my enemy. He helped me climb the Tree of Life, where I found the mountain. That's weird. Who else would kidnap Dr. Wheeler? Dr. Castor had plenty of motive, but nobody else did. If he wasn't kidnapped, how did you get to the mountain? It would have been difficult to find normally. You're curious, aren't you? Well, everything is about to be revealed. Or is it? While looking across the island from the Tree of Life, he caught a glimpse of a mountain with a strange pillar of fire. It seemed to be near Sherbet Island. Go to Sherbet Island and look for clues. But first... Lightning flower. Uh -huh. I think I saw this flower in the doctor's notebook. If you wrap the flower stem around your ankles, it makes your footsteps very light. Oh, it's a wall climb. Ha-ha! The wall... Oh. oh, it's only a... Oh, no, it's a double jump. It's a double jump. -o. Ah. Which makes sense, actually, because we've got no way of swapping Agon to anymore. Weaving the stem into the shoe allows it to absorb the power of the earth for jumping into the air. That's as good an explanation for how a double jump works as I've ever seen. Okay. So now I can get... This is only 97%. Does... Does, 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 does... Boink. No, interesting. Oh, there's a doorway right at the bottom. Oh, which we need the key for. Getting a double jump right towards the end of a game, well, I assume we're reasonably towards the end of the game, uh, is always an interesting choice in a Metroidvania. It's like you've been through this whole game with these interesting platforming mechanics, and now... Now, freedom is yours! I mean, how it interacts with other things has yet to be seen. Oh, we actually need to grab his key. Oh, you can go through terrain, can you? Good to know. Collision! It's, uh, it's a ways down here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. 
Whoop. Whoop. Yes. Woohoo! I'm just going to follow you around. Until here. What? Uh. Come on. Right, that gets rid of that. Yes, because we've got to do it this way, because we can't drop blocks through the platforms. My brain was trying to figure that out. Is this dropped in the treasure chest? Rainy's key. The house key, the house key that Rainy dropped in the lake in a chest, apparently. Ah, and that's what lets us get through here. Nope, sort off. There's also Whoa. There's also a whole section here that I didn't explore for some reason. Oh no. I think it's just easier to try and hit them straight on. That's probably the last bolt nut. I would assume that was the last bolt nut. There's also... No, not through there. Left. Oh yeah, there was this bit. That's got to be connected to a door, right? Because there's n there's nothing that we can connect with otherwise. Uh, right, how do I get... Not through there. Oops. No, what am I doing? What am I doing, dear viewer? Am I being an idiot? If you said the answer was yes. 100% correct. Has that helped? No, how am I getting back to this door? Down and right. Navigation is not my strong suit. People wonder why I make maps of games. This is why I make maps of games. Because my sense of direction is god awful. Puzzle door for a new stamp.
Aha! Uh, right. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, shit. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. A blue stamp. The lightning stamp. Uh, interestingly, we seem to have got one more stamp to find. What does the lightning stamp say? I hope I never have to come back here again. Yes. How do I get to that one square? I'm intrigued. Oh, like that. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved there. Now, we just need to get back to where we were again. Which was up this way, down, across. It's interesting how having a double jump actually changes the dynamic so greatly in this one. Because you've played so much of the game without it. Now, oh, you found the key. Now I can finally go home. And as promised, I'll give you something useful. Blueprint? <laughs> you sure are perceptive, friend. You need something to help you survive a rough place like this. Net wool. Cotton popcorn will block bullets. Yeah, that would have been useful earlier, <laughs> to be honest. Cotton grown from special seeds mixed with spiderweb extract. It boasts bulletproof properties that allow it to reflect fast-moving bullets. I need fresh fish recipe. Catch fish, immediately eat fish. You can't get fresher. He's really turning the culinary world on its head. Well done, Rainy. Okay, and that's both of those sorted. That is, in fact, Thunder Island completed. Only works with cotton bullets, Damogen. Those are our normal projectiles, Damogen. You have been paying attention, haven't you, Damogen? You're not convinced, are you? I'm not convinced, so I don't know how you would be. Uh, oops. <laughs> that was me flicking my eyes to the map in the corner and walking straight into an enemy. Oh, interesting. Could we even get off here? If... Hmm. Right. I guess next time... <laughs> I've just remembered that I'm breaking these up into episodes, aren't I? Rather than just playing, playing, playing. We've got no errands to do. We've got six bolt nuts to build um, our... Oh, there's a little icon in the corner that shows us when we can and cannot double jump. That's nice. Um... Yeah, we've got three more inventions to build. We've got six bolt nuts to do it. I guess we are getting close to... Mind you, there, there is one final area. Um, also, oh, that's going to be Lunar Mountain, isn't it? But Insect Island is complete. Teapot Island is complete. Acorn Town is not. Can we... Can we go back to acorn town now or is it gonna lock us in no we can go back i wonder uh we hadn't been here before And it is now quite easy to bypass. <laughs> I 
because double jump. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> hmm, doesn't reflect those. Flower! Sunflower! There's the middle one. My favourite character is here! Aww. Uh, and that's 100%. Oh, well, that's what gets us down from the top of there. Okay. Wonderful. Do, 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 do. So, Acorn Town, 100%. Walnut Forest, 100%. Teapot Island, Oven Cave and Magma Cave, all 100%. Insect Island. Toad Hole, Secret Lab, 100%. And I guess we are returning to Sherbet Island next time. Hopefully, oh, that was very British. Hopefully, you'll join me then for more delightful adventures with the Ramsey. Is it called? Is it called the Ramsey? Like, like um, David Hasselhoff? Like the Hoff or the Rock? Maybe I don't, I don't know. I'm just surprised. Well, am I surprised that it took me that long to figure it out? I mu I must have noticed that his name was Ramsey at some point, surely. But this is me we're talking about. I don't know. Until next time, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Onwards to a warm rest. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.